following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers. This is the Tia Fangi coming to you with a review that I'm hoping will be um, uh, somewhat short because today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Trash Master. So the reason why this video is a little short is because Trash Master is a rare example amongst the other Transformers action figures, at least in the Legacy Evolution line, because he is an entirely brand new Transformers character, which is almost unheard of these days. Ace, so it's a pleasant. It was a pleasant surprise when he was announced. And so, uh, whether or not Trashmaster will make any major appearances in any Transformers media, including the comic books, is uncertain at this point. He is the latest member of the Transformers, who, like Rekgar, is a member of the Junkions. Um, he is, I believe, only the third Transformers character to have a garbage truck for an alt mode. Oh, the first was the Transformers animated version of Rekgar. Then there was a character from, I think, the character appeared in Transformers Dark of the Moon, but didn't get an action figure until Transformers Age of Extinction three years later. I can't remember that character's name. But yeah, this is Trashmaster. There's his alt mode of a garbage truck. There's a close-up of his face. It, it, almost, it almost looks like he has a mohawk with the way he has a spiked head crest. And then there's a... More detailing of his robot mode. On this side of the box, you got half of the poster image for the Legacy Evolution line. Coming around here to the back of the box, you got Trash Master in his robot mode and his alt mode. He transforms back and forth between both modes in 15 steps. And it's advertising here on the side that you can actually, uh, just like the Deluxe Class Junkions that were released in the Legacy Evolution line, you can disassemble Trash Master and use his body parts as weapons on other Transformers action figures. And even when he's in his alt mode of a garbage truck, you can trans you can uh, swap out parts from his vehicle mode with parts of the other Junkions ons with the uh, supposed Evo Fusion gimmick. Now I'm gonna apologize right off the right off the bat. I'm not gonna go show off uh, Trashmaster's uh, uh, weaponizer gimmick gimmick, and uh, one of the main reasons why that was created is because what you're supposed to do with Trashmaster is dismantle him and then rearrange his parts. And he can actually form the torso of a Junkion combiner named Junkasaurus. And unlike most combiners that have humanoid robot mo modes, such as uh, Generation Slex Piranicon back there, they're uh, Trash Master's uh, combiner, uh, Junkasaurus. It's basically a Tyrannosaurus Rex X Win in combined mode. Uh, the thing with that combiner is that there was supposed to be. Uh, the uh, repaint of the Deluxe Class uh, Legacy Evolution Junkion Crash Bar that was supposed to be released in the final wave of Legacy Evolution, but it never came, never got past the development stage. And officially, if you use the Transformers action figures that make the Junkasaurus Combiner, Einer, uh, there's only one arm for it right now. You would have to buy du two duplicate copies of uh, a second copy of Crash Bar. Or to give Junkasaurus two arms. So, while it was a great eight idea on paper, the Junkasaurus combiner, when the final um, product came out, it wasn't the greatest. A lot of collectors who showed off Junkasaurus when Trashmaster was released for the first time last year showed that it wasn't the best combiner. Miner. And unfortunately, Trashmaster shelf warm for quite a while. A lot of Transformers fans and collectors weren't uh, interested in the... Uh, Combined in the Combiner Junkasaurus mode, or the Evofusion gimmick. gimmick. And I think that's kind of a shame, because um, I, uh, I, like I said, he's a brand new Transformers character, so as long as collectors are willing to give him a chance, then I think he'll be a character that everyone could grow to like. I mean, imagine a heavyweight junkie on, on helping Rekgar and the other Junkions drive the Decepticons off of their planet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no real background information to say about Trash Master, so without further delay, let's get him out of the box and take a close look at him in robot mode. Alright, and so here is Trash Master out of his box, and I really am impressed with how uh, great he turned out. I mean, he's a pretty decent looking, uh, looking robot. Uh, I really like the head sculpt on him. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think he has... Um, any faction symbols on him? I'm looking at the box just to be sure. Um, he is officially, like all the other 
Gen Beyond except for Detroit is an Autobot. But as far as I can tell, he does have an Autobot logo. I don't see where it could be. E, usually in robot mode, there's Autobot logos on the shoulders. Ah, I found it. It's on his uh, back act upside down in robot mode, which becomes the roof of his garbage truck mode. And there it is now in the box. I can see where it was. So, yeah, tiny Autobot logo. Oh, just one. And so, yeah, he's uh, pretty nice looking. I honestly thought when Trashmaster was first revealed that he was going to be Autobot Heatwave from the Transformers Rescue Bot series, because I thought his alt mode looked more like a fire truck than a garbage truck, but still it was a pleasant surprise when it was announced that he was a brand new character. Um, I remember from some reviews, some people did have difficulty trying to get him to stand up, but partially the reason why is because when you look at his feet, most of his foot is at the front, and, and so he has small heels, which don't really support the weight of his backpack. Um, you can if you want. Um, they came this way out of the box. You can take the front bumper and wheel section off of his backpack. Backpack if you want to give him a smaller backpack. Unfortunately, there's no other place to really transform it. All right, and what I mean is, uh, there's no, in his, uh, this part, uh, the roof of the alt mode, there's no real, that's the farthest it can go up, so there's not really much clearance for the backpack to be uh, flatter, so it really sticks far out out on Trash Master unless you fold it down and then it dangles off the back of him, so that is one of the uh, major nitpick, nitpicks to be had with this figure. Uh, his main weapon is this uh, grabber claw, which hangs off the back of his uh, garbage truck mode when he's in alt mode. mode, and this becomes the head and jaw of the Junkasaurus combiner. And officially, he's supposed to be holding it in his hand like this, so it looks like he has a giant claw weapon. But you can, of course, attach it in other ways if you desire. But yeah, overall, uh, Trash Master's pretty great. A decent amount of articulation. Uh, <clears throat> Silver joint in the robot mode head. And the neck, so the head can move side to side 360 degrees. Uh, Silver joint, joint in the shoulder, but... Uh, here on the back, the top of the shoulder can collide with this uh, smokestack from his alt mode, so there's just a hairline clearance there. Arms can go in and out 90 degrees. He's, a, he's at the top of the shoulder. Bicep swivel, hinged elbow, uh, wrist articulation, so the hands can spin through in 60 degrees. Uh, he does have a waist articulation, but again, with all the side panels and his backpack, and everything, you do have to move stuff out of the way to get it to move correctly. Universal jointed hips, the legs can go forward this far. They can only go back this far with the backpack attached. Uh, um, no silver joint joint in the thigh, but there is a silver joint right above the knee, and then a hinge joint at the actual knee joint. And then feet can go up and down at the ankle due to transformation, and they can somewhat swivel side to side. So a lot of articulation here on Trash Master. I apologize for not bringing out any Transformers figures to do a size comparison with. I will say this, Trash Master is an average-sized Voyager class figure from the Legacy Evolution line. And that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that uh, out of the box, his shoulder joints don't want to uh, on, uh, remain plugged into the side of his torso. So that's one part of him to be on the lookout for looseness. But overall, I, like I said, uh, Ed, he is a brand new character. So uh, because there's not really any history behind him yet... At I have only positive things to say about Trash Master, and yeah, I think he's a pretty fantastic looking, looking uh, Transformers character. So, yes, uh, I don't know why he shelf formed because I think he's a uh, pretty enjoyable. So let's get him transformed into his alt mode, mode, and we will wrap up the review. All right, and so here is Trash Master transformed into his alt mode of a garbage truck. Like I said, he's one of only three Transformers characters slash action figures to have a garbage truck for an alt mode. So he's one of he's a has a alt mode that Transformers action figures don't get that often. So that makes him special in that regard, and that he's a vehicle that's a rarity amongst Transformers armors. But it's pretty impressive looking, and I'm really great with how it came out. Uh, the hydraulic arms. Uh, both on the instruction sheet and the photos on the box say you're supposed to have them like this up in the raised position, which technically is the position that position that the uh, dumpster arms are on garbage trucks. Okay, so you can remove them if you want, but then and uh, it makes him uh, 
makes him a non-dumpster looking garbage truck like if you do but overall i oh i don't think uh it hinders his vehicle motor in any in any way at all uh the wheels um they do spin somewhat but the thing is is that the um, hubcaps are pegged onto the interior of area of the parts that they're attached to so um it does give him a sense of realism with the hubcap apps uh, well actually it takes away from the realism where the hubcaps are locked in place and the tires spin independently so um it's just a minor nitpick nitpick for those of you guys who enjoyed them but the thing is is that the wheels they while they do roll if you force them to roll like on your fingers if you just try to roll it along the wheels will uh not spin that great and stick in place ace but i can overlook look at just to. Uh, i mean i'm breath i'm speechless with how incredibly looking this garbage truck is granted there's chains wrapped around the side and there's bars across the uh windows but that just gives the uh, junkie on aesthetic headache to the vehicle mode i personally believe uh there's the tiny autobot logo again so it ends up on the roof of <clears throat> the trash master's alt mode and the gimmick in alt mode is just like in robot mode you can open up the claw and it becomes the comp the entrance to the compactor of the garbage truck uh actually yeah it's really fun having that little vehicle mode interaction and then of course you can lower the arms if you want uh, to make it look like he's going to pick up a dumpster dumpster i'm not going to do it because the five millimeter ports that they sit in are really tight I, I, I don't know if that's just out of the box or if that's a long time thing since I just took Trash Master out of his box, but yeah, once again, overall, I think it's a pretty fantastic looking vehicle mode. So for the final proverbial question, do I recommend getting Legacy Evolution, Voyager Class Trash Master and adding him to your Transformers collection? Absolutely. You cannot go wrong having Trash Master in your Transformers collection. Uh, action. Like I said, there's only he's only the third Transformers action figure to have a garbage truck for an alt mode, so I highly recommend you get him for just for that uniqueness alone. As a standalone figure without the uh, weaponizer gimmick and the combiner gimmick of Junkasaurus, he's a, still a pretty fantastic uh, Transformers action figure if he didn't have those gim gimmicks inside of him. him. And while the backpack is a little... It'll, uh, bulky for his robot mode, oh, I can overlook it just for the fact that he's a brand new character. Uh, because he's shelf-warmed for quite a while, like, I.O. Trash Master still, it'll is, uh, you can still find him online for decent prices. I says, but yes, I'm really thrilled to have this brand new character in my Transformers collection. Thank you guys all so much for watching, this has been the TF Fang Geek, this has been my review of Transformers Legacy Revolution, Voyager Class, Junkie on Trash Master, I highly recommend you get this guy if you... I, if you can find him, find him. You can't go wrong having this fantastic Transformers action figure in your collection. So thank you guys all so much. Thank you to my subscribers for your continued support. And it's next time, you guys. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy. Transform and roll out. Goodbye, everyone. Da -da 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 -da.